I'm Chris Peacock, and this is Torchwood, Season 2, Episode uh, 6? 6. Reset. Um, yeah. Uh, last episode, we had Adam, who I never really did quite understand his motives, but I really don't think it matters. I mean, I know his motives were exist. I, I understand that. Just seemed like there should have been more to it, but I guess there wasn't, unless it comes back into play at some point, which it may or may not. It's hard to tell. Uh, however, this episode reset. Um, let's let's see what happens. Okay, sorry, just was checking to make sure I was actually recording because. Better to know now. Man, this show really likes to reuse the, the weevil. We're closing. Uh, excuse me, Mom. Okay, it's someone important. Didn't realize we were having a visitor. Suddenly, in an underground mortuary on a wet night in Cardiff, I hear the song of a nightingale. The VIP visitor is here. Didn't realize we were having a visitor. Suddenly, in an underground mortuary on a wet night in Cardiff, I hear the song of a nightingale. Okay, so... I did hear... Okay. Dead... The only possible thing that would make any sense would be, uh, Martha. And it is. Okay. That's actually really cool. Uh, the music tipped me off that we were getting a connection to Doctor Who, and I can't possibly think of any character that would have made any sense other than Martha. Except possibly the Doctor himself, but I just didn't really think that would be it. Doctor Jones is from Unit. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, I get a bit uh, confused. Which one's the unit? Intelligence, military, cute, red cap, some the acceptable face of intelligence. How long has it been? Ages, sexes, ethnic oh, origins, and occupations. But there was a statistically significant... Oh, and probably is more software. experienced, actually. Come on, Martha. Do you miss him? No. I made my choice. Maybe sometimes. Uh. A tiny bit. Tiny. <laughs> tiny. Then I come to my senses again. This woman from Unit rang out of the blue, said I was just what they needed, that I'd mm. come highly recommended by an impeccable source. You mean? Well, who else would have done it? You must have thought you owed you a favor. Do it. We're gonna vaporize this paper without even scorching the cup. This is gonna end in tears. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I my, yeah. <laughs> he just came towards me with a great big bloody needle, didn't he? You know, my dog bit him and then I kicked him in the nuts. <laughs> Respect. That was a transition. Like injecting them with bleach. Unless the objective isn't just killing. It's destroying something in the yeah. bloodstream. Yeah, cover it up. It's getting rid of evidence. These attacks are not random. They're clinical, mm -hmm. professional, more like assassinations. Except Barry Leonard was a student who would assassinate a student. Student loans company. Yeah, yeah, I think you just cracked it. <laughs> but why delete medical records? Not while what they're still a student. Have in common? I've been analyzing Marie's test results after. now. Right. Listen, Marie, you're going to have to level with us. This could be a matter of life and death. Have you ever had a serious medical condition? <sighs> Too good to be true. What do you mean? I had HIV. Okay. You're perfectly clear of antibodies. That's not medically possible. <laughs> That's the reset. I got it from the farm. Farm? What farm? Marie! No, P-H-A-R-M, the farm. It's a medical research place, all right? How'd you get it? Clever. They gave it to me. She's dead. I kind of expected that, but... Didn't expect that. The ultimate magic bullet. 
supersedes anything and everything in the pharmacological armory. So that would be the greatest medical discovery in history. Exactly. Except it comes bundled with the lethal alien parasite. Sorry, you've had a wasted journey, Mr. I always like this actor, but uh, I never like his characters. <laughs> and I'm sure that'll be the same here. He's brilliant. He does a great job. But I don't like the, the characters. At least not that I've ever seen. I'm, I'm sure he's a great actor, so I'm sure he could play a character that I like. Normally, Aaron, we go where we like. Not here, actually. Ask Whitehall. We're fireproof. Yeah, I had a bad experience with a politician recently. <laughs> I tend not to listen to Whitehall anymore. They're in the market for volunteers. That's understandable, given their wastage rate. Then one of us goes in undercover. No, we don't know enough about the workings of that place. Too many things could go wrong. They already saw Jack. Sure to put a medic in there. Someone who knew what to look for. Yeah, but I can't do it. They know me now, don't they? I know it's hard to believe, Owen, but I wasn't thinking of you. Don't draw too much attention to yourself. Be invisible. I can do that. I just in, noticed that to gain Martha was to on the IT systems, closed down the system firewalls, and security card. protocols. That way, Tosh can gain access to the files and see what they're really up to. Noticed that yes, before I started the episode. Chris. I see you're a postgraduate student at the moment. That's right. Studying what? Creative writing. So. That would be really annoying to have the message appear well, as it's being typed. Just we have, a lot have it appear after it's done. We'll the whole thing all at once. I was asking you out on a date. A, a date? You didn't realize. You and me? Yeah. I see. And. You still want that? Yeah. Right. Just do it. Are you being sarcastic? <laughs> You're being polite. You'll stand me up. Oh, I just said yes. I don't mind. One day. See how it goes. Uh, I'm happy for her, I guess. Travel. Be careful. Yes. Good advice. And now that I'm thinking about it, I was. I, it didn't even occur to me till just now. She's no longer a companion on Doctor Who, so is Martha expendable? Because she's not actually a character on this show. I mean, she is, because here she is, so clearly she's a character on this show, but she's not a main character. Oh. Okay. Why did I think of that? I, I like this show, but I like Martha better than any character on this show, so don't kill Martha. Life cycle of the parasite. Okay. They call it the Mayfly. Wow. You named it after it. She's that before. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's lethal. Break out in zone A. All patrols to zone A immediately. Break out in zone A. Break out in zone A. All patrols to zone A. I don't even know if that means Martha or someone else. This creature is extremely dangerous. Okay, no, it doesn't. So whatever escapes probably going to run into her, not the guards. Is this an electric fence? You just touched it. It's not. Who cares about the barbed wire climate? I really am worried about Martha, and I'm not sure if I even should be. Oh, they look exactly the same, just bigger. Okay. Martha can handle herself. She's been in worse situations than this. Yes. Even if she dies, this is still not as bad a situation. But she's not gonna die. Martha's not gonna die. You've analyzed your test results. You really are something special. Why? Terrible guts. Can you tell she's traveled through time? Do you know what lymphocytes are, Samantha? A kind of white blood cell part of the immune system. Well, your lymphocytes are really quite extraordinary. We've never seen anything like them before. Not in a human being. We've dealt with aliens before, but we have never come across anything as exotic as you. A human being who's traveled in time and space. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll just use this thing. Look, I think, I think I've got it, okay? I've got the calibration dry. I can get it out of him. Oh, oh my God. Oh, and deal with it. So you sure you had those calibrations right? I am, I'm, I'm sorry, all right? You know, I'm actually curious if Martha's immune system actually can handle this without the bugs. Like, I still wouldn't do this to her against her will, don't get me wrong. 
We're just having his dead body sit in the chair. Okay. Jesus. Hands above your head. What have you done to her? Tell me that's not what he said. She survived the larval stage, the only subject ever to do so. Oh, I'm still worried about Martha. Like, again, if this was Doctor Who, I wouldn't be worried about her. But on Torchwood, I find her, like, I feel like she's expendable on this show. I don't know why. It doesn't seem like she should be, but it does. Oh, it's gonna be that thing. I tried to limit the damage. What, by murdering people? They were going to die anyway. We're on the edge of the greatest discovery in history. It's gotta be worth a few sacrifices. As I said earlier, he's a great actor. I like him every time. Like this. But I never like his character. The power will cut. Sprinklers will be activated. Okay, it's gotta work this time. This facility will be sealed and flooded. Even if they were gonna kill Martha, they wouldn't die. die. They're already dying. Okay, Jack! <laughs> Owen, tell me you're sure. You could kill him with that thing. We're losing her! Got it. Thank God the other words. Thank God for that. Let's get her out of here. Now let's get back to the Where's the doc? Where's the professor? He ruined everything I worked for. Now let's not be stupid. Okay, we're both rational men, we're scientists. <laughs> Throughout this whole episode, I was worried about Martha. Did they just kill Owen? He's dead. He just agreed to go out with Dodge. <laughs> oh my god. I don't, I'm sorry, I'm laughing. Wow. I'm gonna count this as Torchwood's first two parter because there's no way that. Like, Martha didn't leave at the end of the episode, so she's probably still gonna be around. Owen's still got to be dead even if they bring him back next episode somehow which i don't even know how they would do they they don't still have the even if they do still have the glove thing that's not permanent um well the next uh thing i'm watching in the doctor who universe is the next episode of torchwood so i'm just gonna watch it right now and uh, see, see where we go from here. Wow. Seriously, I, I, I was actually starting to get worried about Martha because I, it, it occurred to me that I didn't find her, I didn't think she was ever really in any danger on Doctor Who. It's a certain level of main character immunity. But on Torchwood, she doesn't have any such thing. So I... I didn't. I didn't necessarily really think she was going to die. I was just thinking if she does, it won't shock me. And then Owen dies. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Well, uh, I'll see you in the next episode.